Fox News Alert, Department of Justice official Bruce Orr said to appear behind closed doors before some members of the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees tomorrow. Republican lawmakers are expected to grill Orr about his connections to ex-British spy and author of that unverified anti-Trump dossier, Christopher Steele, as well as his wife, Nellie, who worked for opposition research firm Fusion GPS during the 2016 campaign. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge joins us now live in Washington. Catherine? Thanks, Molly. Good afternoon. Tuesday's deposition will focus on Orr's decision to break with protocol, protocol pardon me, and bypass DOG leadership to share information with the FBI from the former British spy Christopher Steele, who was behind the anti-Trump dossier. And whether the FBI knew about Steele's hatred of candidate Trump, as well as his 2016 media contacts to brief this dossier, and the FBI still used the dossier to secure a surveillance warrant for a Trump campaign aide in late October 2016. It's important to note or oversaw gang and narcotics investigations at Justice. Russia was not part of his official portfolio. Investigators were told are also probing or and Steele's relationship with Glenn Simpson, whose firm Fusion GPS was paid by the DNC and Clinton campaign for the dossier project. It's also important to note Simpson employed Orr's wife, Nellie, who was part of the dossier research. A House Republican explained their strategy this morning on Fox. We want him to confirm what we already know from hard evidence, that he and his wife were part of a conspiracy to, in fact, create this narrative of, of involvement and, and wrongdoing by the president relative to the Russians. We have a lot of evidence now the question is, can we get him to confirm the evidence or will he deny the truth right before us in writing? Justice Department has so far declined to comment on Orr, and it's important to note that he will be appearing voluntarily on the Hill tomorrow. Molly. Yeah, and text messages between Orr and Steele went further. Well, that's right. 2017 text messages obtained by Fox News asked Orr to be his go-between with the Russia special counsel. Quote, we are frustrated with how long this re-engagement with the Bureau and Robert Mueller is taking, Steele wrote. Anything you could do, that's a reference to Orr, to accelerate the process would be much appreciated. Three months later, Orr confirmed to Steele that he had passed along his questions. Steele is now impatient, describing mounting legal pressures. Quote, I am presuming you've heard nothing back from your special counsel colleagues on the issues you kindly put to them for me. We have heard nothing from them either. To say this is disappointing would be an understatement. Fox News asked the special counsel whether they had engaged with Orr as a way to reach out to Steele, but they declined to comment for our reporting, Molly. Catherine Herridge, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, for more on this, let's bring in Republican Congressman Mark Walker of North Carolina, a member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, thank you for joining us here today. Thanks, Molly. Uh, so I want to start with this questioning of war that's slated for tomorrow. Why is this happening now? Uh, because I believe this is just where it's taken us. If you go back to the Peter Strzok hearing, uh, we got breaking news that afternoon. Jim Jordan and I were talking. He asked for a minute to yield back because it was for the first time that we had confirmation that Bruce Orr did give information from the dossier to the FBI. Now, it's not just uh, when and what Mr. Orr knew, but it was how he arrived at the information, the faulty dossier, even been, even been falsified by Lenny Davis and others. But what did he do with that information? We believe there's strong evidence. Uh, Catherine Herridge just mentioned that a little bit. More than 60 contacts after Bruce Orr uh, lied about being able to be in contact with Christopher Steele. We have documentation. We want to ask him about some of that tomorrow. You know, this is fascinating to get at just even a brief glimpse at some of the text messages that went back and forth. Bruce Orr seems to be such a, fi a central figure when it comes to Fusion GPS, the dossier, the dossier ultimately making it to the FISA court. You know, what are the questions that you want to see cleared up? Well, I think there's many questions uh, that we need to see cleared up. One was to get concrete evidence and for him to hopefully acknowledge that he financially benefited uh, from the dossier, from Christopher Steele's work, as well as Glenn Simpson, who was, was also over, the, obviously, the Fusion GPS. Now, tomorrow will be a little different than other hearings. It'll be a closed-door hearing. Uh, Trey Gowdy and John Ratcliffe, both former federal prosecutors, this won't be five minutes of back and forth, people trying to get a video clip for the nightly news. This will be something that we're able to dial down and get to the bottom line. We want answers, and we believe that specifically, that knowing now that he financially benefited, how and why, let's follow 
love that paper trail. Let's get it out for the American people. Yeah, there are so many motivations that people have, whatever the issue is. Uh, so I guess that would be some of the questioning here. You know, what was your motivation? Uh, as far as the Fusion GPS is concerned, we also know that the Democratic Party, that the Clinton campaign were funding some of this research done by Christopher Steele, that that full accounting as to where this all came from wasn't presented in full and incomplete to the FISA court. Uh, so when you boil all of that down, the answers that he gave, will that clear up uh, any of the um, explanation for how all of the information uh -huh. ended up before the court? Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's not just mm -hmm. the when and where, but it's how he obtained the information, what he did with that information. That's going to be crucial. Uh, all of this has been sponsored or brought to you by uh, Hillary Clinton and our friends at the DNC. We want to make sure that we're putting these pieces of paper together, this trail. But also, it's very interesting with Nellie Orr. She's a central figure. Even though the investigation uh, is directed at Bruce Orr, we want to know how he obtained that information. But here is someone who lived in Russia, and obviously some of the information that we've discovered, uh, why is it that uh, we were wondering that she purchased a ham uh, radio uh, operator's license the very same month that she was hired Fusion GPS. This continues to unravel, but it looks like this is a perfect example of this deep state of this swamp creatures that have been playing a different set of rules than what the American people have been playing by. All right, Congressman Mark Walker, thank you so much. Interesting that you mentioned this behind closed doors, so it does take some of that political theater out. So we'll see if, uh, mm -hmm. if you guys are, get the answers that you're looking for and if ultimately we mm -hmm. as the American people will also uh, get some of that information as as well. Thank you, sir. Mm. Thanks, Molly. A federal investigation now underway after a gunman opens fire on gamers in a tournament, killing two people and wounding many more before killing himself. A live report from Florida just ahead. Plus, President Trump appearing to score a big win as he announces a preliminary agreement on trade with Mexico, what it could mean for the midterms. Our power panel weighs in.